Tune in to Todd Glass. He has a late show. This is his late show here on TV. We're gonna watch it. They're gonna do bits. Oh, just you wait and see. It's the Todd Glass Show, everybody. Come on. That's enough. That was good. We're not like those shows that go, more, more. That was, that was beautiful. I'm lucky I got that much. And how about a hand for five guys with instruments? We're going to take it home. Ba, 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 ba. James Adomian is my guest. Well, not my guest. He's my, we're going to hang out for an hour. God damn it. That's how you play a fucking trumpet. By the way. And I think you know what I'm gonna say. That triangle, and I'm not just being like that. Play, to hit, give me a little. If, wow! Yeah, it really adds a lot. It adds a lot. Thank you. I know, no, no offense, because I know that you know the drummer's all upset and everything. But I know Keith on guitar, but and Cody great on the bongos. I saw. Did you doze off at one point? No, I'm serious. And JJ on the trumpet. We're gonna probably just have JJ on the trumpet from now on. We're trying to cut back, and I just wanna let the band know in front of everyone. No, I don't think it's, I think it's wrong to tell you individually in private. I think it's disrespectful. You owe me to show you the respect in front of this audience to tell you you're fired. <laughs> Can we light those? Is there, any, is there anybody? See, that's the great part about having a show, because if you want those lit, usually within about, I'm gonna say a minute, you know. <laughs> Can we get those candles lit? The PA runs upstairs. They're shaking. <laughs> then they have to run down the street to get a lighter at 7-Eleven. So they, they always show up <laughs> nervous. <laughs> so there's that. So listen, I always wanted, if I had a show, I thought it would be funny that Eddie Pepitone lived on the bus for some reason. It could be a different person every week. One week it's Eddie Pepitone, it could be different people, but tonight, I couldn't be happier. Eddie Pepitone is gonna be living in that bus. <laughs> Listen to the words, they're magical. He lives on the set of the Todd Glass Show. Why he lives there, nobody knows. It's Eddie, it's Eddie. Eddie Pepitone with us. Give me a little trumpet, what the fuck? Yeah, that's right. Eddie Pepitone with us. There you go. Thank you, JJ. Great job on trumpet. Uh, this is Jake Adams, everybody. No, no, I'm just talking to my friend. I feel like you're doing something. No, I'm not. Don't be insecure. Stop okay, it well, already. All right, um, well, the paper's up. And no, you like know what, Jake? I can't. This is a pilot. I feel like they're ca the no, audience this is, is a pilot. You're right. acting like a goddamn baby. All right. Thank you very much. I, somebody in the back I'm in love with. <laughs> What's going on? There's a guy with a headset talking to somebody in the audience with a hat. Oh my God, hold on. There's a guy in the back with a camera and there's a light blinking on his head. Oh my God, hold on. You know the dog that I like so much? I haven't seen the dog in two seconds. Oh my God. I told him, I go, there's two things I want you to play the fuck out of tonight, Jake. That's one of them. Do it again. <laughs> what do I, is there something? I'm not even joking around. I, 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 Eddie. I'm just trying to hold it together here. No, I hear, are there no, chickens? No, I'm just trying to hold it together. Why are there chickens in there? I, there's so many chickens. I, I, I don't know what to do. I, don't, don't you come at me like that. This is not a sound effect. It isn't a sound effect bit. I, I, that's why I love fucking Eddie Pepitone. Because he knows it was, it's not a sound effect. You're not gonna enjoy the bit if you think it's a sound effect. And he says it kiddingly, but you should start. There, there are chickens in there. It's unbelievable how the real. No, here's how I have can felt... change the mood. Do the drill. Wow. Eddie, what are you? What are you doing? I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure 
what I am doing. I might be running some kind of saw, but I can't, or it might be just a vacuum of some sort. But all I know is that I am doing it. It's Eddie, it's Eddie, Eddie Pepitone with us. Come on. Will the talk last show? So I want to say one thing. This is my this you know this could be my opening rant if we had to say there was one. So this is a subject that already bothers me, but I got revisited by it. Uh, a friend of mine that I went to high school with came over to my house, and we were talking about musical groups that we used to play when he was in high school. And his daughter was there, and he goes, "Yeah, there's no more groups like that anymore." Are you out looking at music? No, I, I, no, no, seriously, it's not like he's going, well, when I was 18, I went out seven nights a week. Now I go out one night a week. But no, never! He hasn't been out to see fucking music in 30 years. But he's decided there's nothing like that anymore. So you were born at the perfect time, Jim? Kids today should be, fuck! You, fuck, you lucked out, you motherfucker, didn't you? You were born 30 years ago. Fuck everybody else that's born after you because it's never gonna get better than that. that. Doesn't that sound crazy? Can we get something nice like the uh, longest yard maybe because I feel like I'm going in for my clothes here. I feel like, you know, the, thank you, thank you. If you wanna play along, Ben, I, whatever you wanna do, I don't give a shit. Stop telling kids that it used to be better. You look like a fucking mental patient. You look like a mental patient. Kid, can we get some reverb, please? Can we get some reverb? You look like a mental patient. Anybody self-aware goes, no. Kids today are fixing the problems that you caused, you dumb fuck. Go up to kids today and say, hey, thanks a lot for trying to fix what my generation fucked up. Todd Glass Rants. Now that's better than any dumb fucking monologue jokes. Just look at those puppies. It's a cute attack. Don't you want to mush their faces before we come back? The Todd Glass Show will be right back. The Todd Glass Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome to the stage right now a funny gentleman. God damn it, I can't be more excited. James Adomian, ladies and gentlemen. Tell the crowd. Will you, will you put the pie down and do the bit where you tell the crowd to shut up? What do you mean? I can't hear it over my own atmosphere. Will you do, will you do the bit? I don't know why I love this. Go through the crowd, tell them to shut up. Let's do the entrance again. It just, it's like some Vegas act. He comes through the crowd during the opening of his show telling people to shut up. Everyone applaud. Hey, hey for no Shut up! Shut up, I'm gonna really go crazy. Hey, come on over here. It's you shut up! Shut up! Won't anybody you shut up! Why is that so Shut funny? these mics up! <laughs> Can you do me a favor? Can we get rid of this? I uh, just cause it'll seem nicer. Yeah. I don't give a shit, but Tony is always yelling at me. Honestly, whatever needs to happen right now is what we can do right now. Hold on a second. 
hold on a second. And you think, I would have thought that by now the bit would have played, you didn't even, so you didn't even need that. And that's what I like, because, hold on a second, and I know, hold on, play a song, play a really bounce, play a good, hold on, play a big song. Play a big song, as, but as quietly as you can fucking do it. Play it, and you know what I'm doing. See, that's the thing. Hold on a second. And trust me on this, I want all the, turn all the lights down, turn the fucking lights off! No, hold on a second, see, you understand the bit inside of the bit, that's a bit, but you don't even fucking get it, but you get it! And that's what I fucking like about you! 99% of the time, I'm gonna say 99% of the time! All right now, we know what you're doing when you watch the Todd Glass Show. So we offer this up to you as some visual Hi, Candy. Come on now. Ooh, look at all the colors. Red and black and red. There's lots of red, there's lots of black. Swirling back into red. Ooh, and now there's green. Little bits of spark green. Swell lullaby, the gray, and now some blues there too. One second, and then we're going to introduce you. And that's the way this shows. Let's call, let's call Eddie on the phone. Okay, it's okay. No, no, no. Listen, he gets nervous. He gets nervous. Okay, we'll call Eddie. Eddie, hold on, hold on. Let him. He gets. It's all right. You're doing good. Don't worry. No, he gets nervous with the sound effect. I got a rotary phone. What about how do I dial it? He just gets nervous. Don't. Where he's gonna save this bit. I promise. No, don't laugh. Please, please, people, please don't laugh. No, no, he gets nervous. He gets nervous. Okay, there you go. Okay, that's good. That sounds like a call. That sounds like a call. Okay, so we got it. There you go. How about a hand, huh? Kids, Eddie. You're doing great. You're doing great, kid. Eddie, yeah. are you okay in there? I can't breathe. What? I cannot breathe. I don't know how much air is left! It's good to see Eddie working. He was one of the early members of Laugh In, but uh, oh, Eddie. he didn't get Eddie, enough, he didn't get a lot of laughs. <laughs> Suck it to me? Suck it to fucking me! <laughs> Go in that band with him. Open your imper uh, open the door. Do your impersonation of Eddie if he was on Laughing back in the day. Which was, doesn't matter. There's so many young people here. They might not even remember that show, but they would open a door, say something, and then shut it. This is James's version of Laughing. Do Eddie, then you, then Eddie, then you, until we vomit. And if there's any people that think this isn't worth it, then we're in the wrong business together. Eddie, <laughs> go ahead. Open the door. Open the window. What? All this fucking purple on this set is making me very angry. Take your fucking polka dots back somewhere else. I read Nietzsche to relax. This is a poor distraction from the military industrial complex and their involvement in Southeast Asia. Fly me to the moon, guys. Let's take it home. Here we go. To the moon. I don't like that fucking song either. You people can take it to where you want to go. Todd Glass, Todd Glass, Todd Glass Show. Todd Glass, Todd Glass, Todd Glass Show. Todd Glass, Todd Glass, Todd Glass Show. It's the Todd Glass Show tonight. The Todd Glass Show. Voted number one by the Television Association of America. Oh, Todd is a professional triangle player. James, I'm going to show you five seconds, 10, 15 seconds of this clip. You see if you want to talk about it. If you don't, I don't give a shit. What do I care? Hubba, hubba, hubba. Listen to what they sing about.
What did, were they doing? In the 1940s, oh. they didn't know that not everyone had to sing the same note at the same time at every moment of the song. <laughs> what that salad and chops, a salad and that salad, and the other person is like, what that salad and that's the same note. <laughs> Sound, they sound also in the 1940s, all of their voices were like, You gotta sound like a trumpet and nothing else. That's the only sound that a voice can make. Like, but it's your voice. <laughs> That's good. my next door neighbor. <laughs> Talk. Where are you coming from, Sam? <laughs> That's what he said. That's your oh, neighbor. No. Is that your neighbor, the trumpet that you talk to? A fiddly dabba doo ba 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 I take the seven to the train till the one and a one. All right, listen. A mayonnaise, a ketchup, a bottle of picks. Run, 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 run from the bit. Run, 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 run from run, the bit. Run from the bit. Run, 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 run away from the bit. Let's move on. Well, we got more bits Hold to on. do. I got to pile through back. Bits. What if Listen. I moved back? What if I moved on? I never James, got I got to shut you off. Are you over there? <laughs> uh, just turned me off like a button. <laughs> I want to do the Water Mathal bit. I crave it. Here we go. So Water Mathal, he's checking into a hotel. And uh, by the way, if we want to, uh, at home, if you want to shut the TV off and put a black tape, a tablecloth in front of it, <laughs> I recommend it. Well, here's what I'm. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> it's a great, great pitch for television, folks. Look, if you're watching it, if you're watching it at home, somehow cover your television set. Turn it on. Turn it on dark picture mode. Not even mute. You want to get rid of the only thing. It's called television. It's um, not what I'm talking about. Hold on a second. Turn away. Don't watch. Turn it off. I don't want the readings. I want no, this to be... Maybe, maybe in post we could put an old-fashioned radio on the TV There's right not going to be any what, post what, what if the editor did it? What if in post the fucking what editor if, went... Second, what, if please, we, what if and he put an old-fashioned radio in front of the screen and, and then, then the water math out bit oh, starts yeah. and then they have theater of the mind. But we'll give you some visuals. <laughs> I'm the person at the, at the front desk. It's two-thirds right? of the way into a 1960s comedy. It's like two-thirds of the way in, and things have gone wrong. And he's... Yeah. And he's, he's Yo, tell me, me and Jake together tried to find the right music. Tell me if you think we did. All right. No, there's another one. That's... You know what that is? This is the part where he's walking down Fifth Avenue like, like, well, it's one of these hotels. I know it is. Which, hold on a second. <laughs> well, same to you. <laughs> What's the other one? Let me tell you something. If that's not fun, I don't know what the fuck is. That's so larger than life. Like, but yet, that's the way it was. You, you know what I people think about didn't, People didn't understand human emotions back then. You had but to really sell it like, I'm, I'm hot in here. <laughs> what? I'm oh, hot. yeah. <laughs> I'm hot in here. Suddenly, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm a little... I feel a little bit clammy. I feel slightly uh, Here's clammy. the other one. What do you think of this one? Oh, can the band can do something, maybe? Add a little, little something? Yeah, bwomp, 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 bwomp. You know what I mean. Like, uh... Yes! That's it. I'm at the front desk. Hi, can I help you? Yes, uh... <clears throat> excuse me, man. It has to cut lower. All right, yeah, yeah, we gotta take it back and do it again. All right, okay. okay. Play, the, play the song. I'll we come do on. Do that anyway. Just walk me into the scene. Just walk me into the it's, scene. Okay. At home, turn your lights off. Hey, Todd, spray me when I get there. What? When I get there, spray me with water. Okay. <laughs> He's coming to the front desk at a hotel. Excuse me, ma'am. I may look like a psychological wreck to you, but I, 
I assure you I'm here for my daughter's wedding and I merely require a hotel room key so that I can wash the fish out of my butt cheeks. Sir, if you don't have ID, we can't give you a key. Well, let me see what ID I have. I have a pocket full of sand from the bottom of the Harlem River. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Yo, sir, we, I uh, may look like a uh, derelict or a psychological case you to you, to but go. I assure you I don't belong in, in, in Bell, Bellevue. Let me give you things you have to go to. Your daughter's bar mitzvah, and you're trying to get your front key to the front desk. Uh, your daughter's bar mitzvah. Hey. Hey, hello, how can I help you? Hey, excuse me, ma'am. It's my daughter's bar mitzvah. I've been run over by a taxi cab, and I'm 17 minutes late for my own heart attack. <laughs> That's right, the bit is on fire. Hey, look, everybody, I got my radio. Everybody said, no one is going to watch radio on the television. Well, they were wrong. Look, you're doing it right now. Hey, did the editor remember to put lines coming out of the radio? He did? All right, listen, James and Domian is going to take us out of here with a little CCR. We'll be back with the Todd Glass Show. Fuck face. By the way, I'm not even joking around. My uh, the executive producer on this show, Tony, did not tell me who my special guest was. I'm a, I'm a big fan, and I know you might think that I'm going to make fun of you, but I actually respect you. Well, that's fantastic. <laughs> were you going to introduce me, or were you going to let it linger? Dr. Phil, everybody. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck all of you. Fuck you. Hey, Dr. Phil. What did you do before you had the Dr. Phil show? Well, what I used to do was hustle people for pool money. <laughs> and, so, and, then I, and, the, and then I used that money to buy houses and become a slumlord. Wow. I, I thought it was something different than that. Look, if you have a problem, then you have a problem. That when you look in the mirror, you need to look at the one who's looking in the mirror, because maybe the one in the mirror is also a fucking fuck face. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. That actually makes a lot of sense. You're a fucking hack, Phil. Look, you're a fucking hack. Maybe you're a fucking five and dime You're hack. the one living in a trailer, and you're blaming your problems on the folks that are having a fire. <laughs> Um, it's starting to hurt my ears real Hold bad. <laughs> Hold on a second. I've got to go. I've got to take care of something. There's a there's a little kid out there who has a lot of hope, and I'm gonna go kick him in his little face. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Folks, I'm not a fucking idiot, and I want you all to know something. I know I have a mouthful of food, and it doesn't look great on television. <laughs> I'm not an idiot. I know that that wasn't fucking Dr. Phil. <laughs> oh, Fred Willard. Holy shit. You gotta run from the bit. Run, run, run from the bit. You gotta run, run, run. Run, run, run from the bit. You gotta run from the bit. Run from the bit. Run from the bit. 
coming out of it. But how about a hand for James, Adomi, and Eddie Pepitone?